In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce two-step checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and throughout this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a similar checkout to this one. We can also display it in a two column layout, which I'll show you now. So we just go design a two column, save changes and refresh this page. And here you can see our two column layout. So in the future as well, we'll be adding more and more different um, designs that you can choose from. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce website, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. It's currently free and in beta mode. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so the second step is to go ahead and upload a plugin in which you just downloaded. So we'll go plugin, add new, go ahead and upload it. Once you've done so, you'll see a um all in one checkout menu somewhere around here however if you're already a WooSuite customer most likely you've got the WooSuite core plugin installed and that menu option will be moved under WooSuite and in AIO checkout but again in your case if you don't have um, any of our other plugins most likely you'll just see this menu somewhere around here so now the third step is just to go ahead and configure our checkout so we'll just click on um, AIO checkout for all in one at checkout. Okay. And now the fourth step would be to go ahead and actually create our checkout form. So I've already created one here. Okay. I'm going to disable this one and just create a new one. So we'll just click create new checkout. Okay. And then this is our default view. So we've got the standard um, billing section, shipping section, um, order summary, um, shipping method, payment method. And if we want as well, we can remove and add different fields. We can also rearrange the fields. So for example, I can add, uh, let's go ahead and add this text field here. And as you can see, you can drag and drop it and rearrange it to whichever position you like. You can also delete it for the default fields. You can't delete it. However, you can um, hide it. So for example, if we didn't want to use the email address, we can just click this eye icon and that will remove it from the front end. As I said, we can rearrange a section, add new sections. Um, but in your case, to create our two-step um, checkout, we'll just click this plus icon here to add a new step. Okay, so we've got step one, step two. If you want as well, you can rename the step. So you just click on this setting um, icon next to each step. Okay, and then here you can see it says step one. So we can say um, billing, for example. Okay, and then we can rename this step as well. So same thing, we just click the settings icon and then here we can probably say payments, right? Okay, that's fine. So we've got our two-step checkout. So we've got the billing, payments, and if you wanted to add um, any other information onto this step, we can just simply drag and drop it. So I can click on this entire section, drop it over to um, step two. Okay, so when we click on payments, we can see this billing section here, which I've um, dragged and dropped onto um, step two. So now that we've configured our checkout fields exactly how we wanted it, we've created our steps. The next step is to navigate to this design tab here. And then this is what I mentioned in the intro. So we can choose from single column or two column, maybe eventually as well, we'll have um, a free column layout and there'll be more different templates for you to choose from. If you didn't want to use any of our templates, let's say for example, you wanted to use your theme existing at checkout um, layout, then you just select none here right and that will just inherit the styling of the existing theme that you're using but we highly recommend that you use our pre-built checkout template the reason for that is one it will load a lot faster and two it's designed to increase your conversions but as with everything else it's just worth testing it so i'm just going to select two columns here and then i'm going to select this particular template right and now the final step is to navigate over to settings and then here we just want to go ahead and enable this checkout form and then we can just give it a name it's for internal purposes only so we can say okay and this url slug so this comes in handy so again this plugin allows you to create multiple different checkout forms but let's say for example you wanted to create a specific um, checkout form for a specific product. So in this product section here, you can preload different products onto the checkout. And then if you add in the URL slug, you can directly share that to your clients uh, via email, on social media or wherever. And it will have 
the checkout design which you just created and you'll have the products preloaded onto that checkout as well right and then where it says applies to here we can choose everyone um, guest users which are users logged out of your site we can choose um, a specific user role or a specific user as well so essentially we can create um, multiple different checkout flows for various customers let's say for example you had a store selling to retail and b2b customers let's say for the b2b customers you needed additional information from them on the checkout page then you can create a specific checkout form for that customer segment okay and then here in this section, we've got the option to rename the place order text so you can rename it to something more meaningful to your customers. For example, buy now, um, reserve now, it's totally up to you. Okay, I'll just leave it blank and that will basically just be the default um, WooCommerce text that's displayed. So we'll just click save changes and then when we view the checkout, Okay, so now we, now that we've refreshed this page, we can see um, all our fields on this section. Okay, so once the user's filled in this information, they can go ahead and proceed to the next step and go ahead and check out. And that's how you create a WooCommerce two-step checkout in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.